Thursday, January 24th, many Colgate faculty and students attended a lecture given by retired Professor Emeritus of Environmental Studies, William Rudman of UVA. Some of Rudman's research includes devising and testing hypotheses on the driving forces behind both long and short-term changes in the Earth's climate. In his lecture, the scientist strongly demonstrated his contemporary and controversial early Anthropocene hypothesis. Rudderman showed how as early as 8,000 years ago, farming-induced changes to the environment were already altering levels of methane and carbon dioxide, both major greenhouse gases, in our atmosphere. According to earlier natural cycles, the Earth's chemical trend over the past 8,000 years should have been different. Humans are accountable for environmental changes which, in turn, upset the cycle of the Earth's temperature. Rudderman's anthropogenic account therefore holds more validity than a natural explanation. Well over 6,000 years ago, rice paddies and terraces were already carving up the East Asian landscape. These man-made swamps produce so much methane that the chemical is still traceable in large amounts there today. In Europe, during the same period, as farming grew, so did an unprecedented level of deforestation. By 2,000 years ago, much of the planet's environment had been altered drastically due to farming. Although the Industrial Age was almost two millennia away, human farming had already altered concentrations of greenhouse gases on Earth. The most important thing was the fourth horse, the pestilence. Um, I never ever thought before about the impact that reforestation would have on um, climate change and just how, not, not only reforestation, but the reforestation because of the bubonic plague and then the mass killing of Native Americans when the Europeans came over. I guess the biggest thing I took, a, I took away from this lecture is the effect that early humans had on the climate changes of today.